Hi YouTube, my name is Eric. If you haven't clicked the like and subscribe button yet, click the like and subscribe button right down there. My name is Eric and I have a channel that's based around addiction, mental health, mental illness, depression, anxiety, suicide awareness, and making it through everyday life. Why? Because I'm an addict. I lost a wife and a father to suicide. I deal with PTSD, ADHD, depression, anxiety on a daily basis, and no journey's worth going alone. So click the like and subscribe button and let's do this together. Hi YouTube, my name is Eric. Thanks for watching this video. This is probably the most sensitive and, and touchy subject that I've, I've done a video on yet. And that is what my thoughts are on monetization and making money when it comes to mental health, mental illness, and sobriety. Let's face it, a lot of us on YouTube, we are not uh, doctors, we are not counselors, we are we don't have a degree, we share our life stories. And now don't get me wrong, there's a ton of knowledge and a ton of tools and information that can be gained because we might not have the degree, but we have the fucking scars to show you what we've been through and how we've done it and maybe some tools that work for you because let's face it, I'm a recovering addict. I have my recovery date 725-17. I've been almost a, a little over 18 months sober. I deal with uh, uh, anxiety and depression. I've been diagnosed with ADHD. I've been diagnosed with PTSD. I lost a wife and a father to suicide. Uh, depression does run in my family. So I have been to many psychiatrists and psychologists. I, I still go see them because I do need my prescriptions filled. And I also do need people in my life to kind of bounce ideas off of and possibly other tools. Just like with this though, it's finding those tools that work for us. And let's face it, I've been to a lot of bad doctors out there, unfortunately, have tried to push different things on me, such as uh, switching up my medication when I have found the right balance of medication over the last 20 years of taking Adderall that I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to mess with the tools that I have in place that help me be a functioning human being. Doctors make money off of us though. And let's face it, they make it off of our copay and, and our insurance or otherwise you go in and you do a customer pay. When we're doing this on YouTube, this is out of just the goodness of our heart, a lot of us, when we're just sharing this. Yes, we can get monetized and I've been monetized even. I was really excited when I did. I hit my thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of uh, videos watched and I've been monetized for the last eight days and hoorah, I'm really excited. So what did I make in the last eight days to just give you an idea? $4.18. Now don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm, I'm very grateful to even just have 50 cents, five cents, whatever it is, because I pour my heart and soul into this and it's kind of that little reward that you get back. And if you've ever watched any of my videos on Twitter even, I've always pushed my YouTube channel because I wanted people to subscribe and watch videos, not necessarily buy any of my shirts or anything or to pay for me for any kind of coaching because I wanted ads to pay for it. I wanted bigger companies to essentially pay for it so I could offer services essentially for free. So when it comes down to the three, mental illness, mental health, and sobriety, I'm gonna clump them and separate them a little bit. I'm gonna do mental illness and mental health over here and I'm gonna do sobriety over here. Here's why. Let's start with sobriety first. So sobriety, you wanna get clean, you wanna get sober. There's tons of free programs out there. You, you can do inpatient, outpatient rehabs. Those do cost money. Uh, there is a customer pay to it. Some insurances do accept it. Same when it comes to sober living. When it comes to a program to get you sober, there are free programs out there. I'm a huge, huge believer in AA, NA, NAMI. Um, I'm very big in al -Anon. These are extremely important free groups out there, free support systems, free tools, free resources uh, to get a sponsor, to get somebody in our life to help us. Do people go out of their way though, actually charge for services? Yes, they do. Do I have a problem with it? Absolutely not, and here's why. Now let me take that part of, okay, we got it out of the way that there are free programs out there when it comes to sobriety. Now it comes to life and dealing with this anxiety. It deals with this depression. It deals with mental illness. It deals with, let's face it, I, for the longest time I didn't have insurance. I'm in there paying fucking boatloads of money to a doctor to spend 30 minutes with me and tell me shit I already knew. Just to tell me to come back. Really? Thanks. That was a waste of money. I've had a big periods of time where I didn't have insurance and I had to do it all out of my pocket. Pocket. That shit's expensive. And you know what? It almost broke me a couple different times. So when it comes to after sobriety and, and you want a life coach or you want somebody to help you, I am all for anybody out there who charges for their services because we all are worth time. Because our time is worth something. My, my wife, my family is, is worth something and I have to pay my bills. I do this outreach on Twitter every single day. Busy morning today. No matter what it is, no matter what it is that you're going through, it's you that can make it an amazing morning. And how do we do it? by reaching out for our support, by realizing that it's okay to be not okay, by realizing that panic attack that we had, it's okay. I don't believe in the suicide hotline and here's why. One moment. You have reached the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, also servicing the Veterans Crisis Line. Para Español, oprime el número dos. If you are in emotional distress or suicidal crisis, or are concerned about someone who might be, we're here to help. 
please remain on the line while we route your call to the nearest crisis center in our network. Attention, if you are a U.S. military veteran or current service member or are calling about one, please press 1 now to speak with the Veterans Crisis Line. That's 35 line. seconds so far. Did you notice how long it took for me to get a hold of somebody? If I'm in the car and I have a fucking gun and I want to end my life, I'm sorry, as soon as I hear hold music, I'm done. I'm out. I'm done. I'm hanging up the phone. And that's why I believe so much in my outreach of urging people just to reach out. And can I help everybody? Absolutely not. I've talked to some people that have gotten a ton out of just talking with me. We've become friends. We share daily lives. We share goals. I've also had people who I've talked to once and then I hit them back up when I knew that they were struggling they're like ah it didn't really work for me and all I can keep doing them is urging them to reach out but let's face it I have a full time job I'm on the phone non-stop with my work I'm visiting dealers with my work and that's how I pay my bills and it's amazing the criticism that I have even gotten if I haven't picked up the phone for somebody or if I haven't messaged somebody back right away unfortunately I'm doing it out of the goodness of my heart but unfortunately I, I have to pay my bills and I don't know how to explain that sometimes to people that I have I have to pay my bills like I, I, my wife and I will be in a van down by the river and I can't help anybody then. I can't share any tools then because I am just fighting like a lot of us are just to get by. So do I believe in charging for services when it comes to being a life coach? And yeah, depending on what, if you're getting something out of it, absolutely. We're worth some time and, and the whole reason even, I have a GoFundMe down there, I have a, a, a patron account that I'm starting and I'm gonna do different tiers to it because let's face it, I do believe in getting compensated somewhat for our time just because it's a lot of time and energy and believe me, it wears on you mentally. Anybody out there right now that's a mental health advocate and you get really dived into mental health, you're talking to people that are not stop. You, you have depression, you have anxiety, you have BPD, you have schizophrenia, you have stuff that you might not even uh, or be familiar about and you're trying to turn them over to resources for them or to different individuals for them to help get them the support that they need. Finding the different Facebook groups, finding the different threads on Twitter, finding the different Instagrams. I mean, there, there's a lot of energy also that goes into it because like with me, for example, I really fucking care about people and it, it hurts my soul if, if I can't talk to somebody because my work has to come first my job has to come first and I've had people mad at me because my job had to come first I get accused of not caring for people but yet I have to pay my rent I have to pay my car payment I have to pay my bills do I believe in being monetized absolutely if somebody wants to help somebody with the 12 steps and take it a step further and take them to the next level of life of let's set goals here's how we start changing our outlook on life because let's face it like with me and sobriety when I got sober, life changed for me. It took me probably a good six months to readjust to life. And sometimes you can't get a hold of your sponsor. And sometimes that's why you, you meet other people at AA meetings so you can get a hold of somebody or you get on a Discord group so you can get a hold of somebody. So if you do actually pay for somebody's service, I guarantee you this, they're, they're picking up the phone. They might not be able to give you the best resources. And again, that's where it comes down to. This is all of my own personal experiences that I'm giving you of uh, finding the right person that works for you. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a counselor. I'm none of that. I'm just sharing with you experiences. And getting hold of that right person, I, I believe me, if somebody has, has donated to me and, and, and they help sponsor me, that person gets all the time in the world. They want to FaceTime me, FaceTime me. They want to talk, talk. Because you get my time because you're helping me. I'm going to help you as much as I can. And it's also really awesome to see people who are doing very well that are able to even do that and and, and to give money out like that. In, in the sense, I look at it as like a church. You know, everybody donates on, on Sundays at churches and pass the, uh, the basket along. And why do we donate? Because it's our place of worship. It's our place of, of going. It's our place of religion. And we want to see it grow. We want to see it blossom. Just like with this, if, if you want to see other people help, it's so important that, that we fund those projects. And it's not a plea. I, I don't give a shit if anybody donates money to me or not because I'm going to still continue to do this. But for those that are out there that are doing it and that do ask for money, I have no problem with you doing that. Now, I do have a problem when it comes to manipulating the system. I do have a problem when it comes to making money off of people in the wrong way. And what I mean by that is putting up a bunch of pointless videos that don't teach you shit. I'm not going after the tools. I'm not giving any substance in any of the videos that I produce. I, I'm, I'm pushing my products on you. It doesn't help anybody, but you know what? If, hey, I offer this in the background, why not? If you believe in that person, support that person. Believe me, it comes back a hundred times fold. And that's what I always believe in paying it forward. I sponsor a lot of different people out there. I sponsor a lot of people in, in suicide walks. I give away a lot of shirts. And I've been accused even with my suicide awareness shirts that you're making money off of mental illness. No. I spend $1,500 when I get a, a group of my shirts, and that's 10 uh, shirts of each size of each color, and I only do black and white. And I give those shirts away left and right. That's out of my own pocket that I don't ask for any money back.
and I'm not a nonprofit organization. Try to recoup that a little bit, yes, and have, is it delayed in me giving people shirts? Yes, it has because I don't have the funds at that time and I have to do it around my paychecks and around my own bills. So somebody out there who's offering your, their services, if it comes to mental health, mental illness, they're not necessarily are they trying to take advantage of that community. They're trying to help that community as much as they can because when we are able to help ourselves a little bit, we can even give more and we can push more, we can push harder and, and it gives us that reason to fight. Just like at work, if you get a raise, you're proud of that and you're, you're going a little bit harder, at least for a while, some of us, maybe not all the time. So is it wrong, in my opinion, no. When it comes to mental health, mental illness, no. Because I know a lot of individuals out there that give better support better tools than what a lot of doctors do and you're paying doctors lots of money don't get me wrong go see the right doctors too because doctors also can prescribe medicine they know what they're doing also when it comes to the book wise of it of how our brain works and the chemicals work which a lot of us don't so seeing a doctor yes absolutely why not if you found somebody who you want to hire them on as a life coach why not there's nothing wrong with doing that and I guarantee you probably get a lot more out of that person than what you're gonna get out of a doctor because what do you see your doctor what once a month that's what I do and I'm dumping them how much money but I am getting my prescription back though in return. So I'm not bashing anybody, but I want you to know that there is a viable reason for people out there to charge for their services. And if you think that they're charging you to get sober or somebody's charging somebody to get sober with AA, that's bullshit, nobody does. If we're true AA, they do pass the basket around and I always throw in a $5 bill, even when I am broke, because I believe in that program so much. And I believe in what it's done for other people. And so if you find somebody out there and you believe in them that much, why not? Why not help sponsor them? Sponsor the people that are you, you're getting the benefit out of. Why not? Is all I'm saying. But don't get taken advantage of by some of these other channels and some of these other uh, um, YouTubers out there even and some of these other advocates out there that just preach bullshit. And you can tell when they're in it for the money. You can tell when somebody's giving their heart. I mean, I give my phone number out every single day on Twitter. And I take every single phone call because I don't believe in hotline. That is when you can tell when somebody is passionate. Uh, that is when you can tell that their heart's in the right place and they want to help other people. And that's what it's about. It's about people helping people. There's nothing better than people helping people. These are really my opinions on it. I mean, I have no problem with anybody out there that has a patron account set up, any of these big YouTubers that are making money off of YouTube, anyone that, that sells their shirts, anyone that sells their vitamins, anyone that sells anything that, that they want to help try and monetize what they're doing so that they can maybe do it full time. My goal is to be able to do this full time. I would love to be able to do this full time, but I also know what I need to make each month. And I'm a long ways away from there. And so until then, every little bit helps though because I can still give away an extra shirt. I can mail out an extra wristband. I can, you know, pick up a phone call and take an extra time with somebody who I know is struggling and just needs some words of encouragement. Maybe needs to set some goals, have a little bit more accountability and be able to push through life a little bit more. I hope you got a lot out of this. I, I hope my views haven't offended anybody. If they have, tough shit because this is really what I feel about this subject and it's something that's very, very personal to me because I've had it actually come at me a little bit. Have an amazing day. It's people helping people. Together we can do this. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, it's right down there. Click the like and subscribe button. Again, I'd rather have a million subscribers to my channel and have all these ads that play in front of my videos and it doesn't cost anybody a dime and I can throw all these tools at you. I love people sharing their tools and sharing their resources because that's what it comes down to and making it through life so much easier. So have an amazing evening. Thank you so much much for watching this and let's do this together.